Hello and welcome to another update video about Solana. Yeah, the Solana chart um, continues to be in this sideways range. Um, not much happened since my last update. We see a lot of green in the crypto market at the moment. Um, Solana broke out of this triangle um, earlier today and that was in line with the forecast. The idea was that either we get a B wave, a stretched out B wave, which could have topped. Um, I haven't got very clear evidence it has topped. So the levels that I need to be broken to the downside to confirm that this B wave topped haven't broken. In fact, that move to the downside again looks very corrective. So I'm not convinced that this B wave has topped yet. That was one interpretation. So the B wave can still stretch a little higher. No problem, especially um, as this move down here currently looks still corrective. So I've got three waves down at the moment, um, or the third wave can still extend. These are the two main scenarios that are basically valid and have to be considered as long as we are holding $38.30. That's in line with previous updates. Now, we could say that if the price breaks below the last swing low, which is this smaller B wave low in this um, correction, which is at yeah $39.70 if the price breaks below that level, that would already suggest that the C wave to the downside is unfolding of wave four. So the idea is that either wave three is finished and we're now coming down in wave four, but then it's not very evident yet that within this correction, the B wave has actually topped, okay? And then we go up higher in wave five. So the overall forecast is still bullish with the next target around $55.70 and then $63.70, possibly even higher to $80. Or before we go down in wave four, wave three is still extending, wave three never finished. And that assumption is valid as long as we're holding above $38.30. So in both scenarios, I would watch for higher. And in both scenarios at the moment, I would expect the um, $55 level to be reached. Um, the question is only, okay, do we do it more directly or do we get a pullback first before doing it? These are the two scenarios that at the moment, for to me, seem to be the most probable ones. I will have to take a more bearish perspective on the Solana chart if the price breaks below $28.40 because that would be the 50% FIB level and a wave 4 should not break below that level. So far, it's going okay. Um, but we're only moving sideways, really. So it's just a range. It's just slowing down a little bit. Yeah. Um, the idea is that, yeah, we had basically three waves down in an A wave. So that's that's the interpretation in which basically here the wave four is already running. A wave, three waves down. Yeah. We had, um, we had, yeah, five waves up basically in an A wave. So if you're interested in the micro count, this year would have been the wave one leading diagonal, wave two, three, four, five in wave A. Then we had basically a B wave. To be honest, you can interpret that B wave even as a triangle. You now then it would have finished here. Um, that was at around $40.70, but it doesn't really make a difference. Um, and then this could be a C wave. I mean, in the C wave, it could get one more high. That's the thing depends on where I count the B wave as complete. There are a couple of options. So if the B wave completed here, then the C wave would need one more high, wave C of B. Uh, they had one, two, three, four, five. Um, so I will not rule that out. The idea, okay, was this maybe a triangle? Then it could already be in, especially as it reacted to the 78.6 retracement, which is a key resistance area for a B wave. So I think at the moment, we just need to be open to both... Um, to both interpretations, you know, we could extend the B wave higher and it could also be the third wave extension. Um, but if we get a break below $39 and um, 70, followed by a break below $38 and 30, then we have some confirmation that we first go down lower before moving higher. So both scenarios bullish at the moment. And uh, yeah, you can pay attention to the $44.77 level. That's the 78.6 retracement and the B wave high. And then you can pay attention to the wave three high at $46.60 to understand if we're extending more directly. 
Bear in mind, there's also one structural resistance level at $48.30, which is this swing high that was made in August last year. There is not much more to update. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.